Ace Motorsports presenting Monster Jam in the beautiful city of Indianapolis. Quite a sports town here. Got some AAA baseball, the RCA Dome, home of the Colts, as you heard Steve Burns say. And tonight it's Monster Jam. Let's go to Steve to talk about the flag. You're looking at Highway 74, a ribbon of asphalt that runs directly to the shop of Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher race team. Why am I standing in a cold, miserable rain alongside Highway 74? It's about the flag. It's about tradition. You see, some 20 years ago, Gary Porter and Dennis Anderson, they started this tradition where the winner would get to raise the flag triumphantly on the back of their vehicle. Well, folks, I'm sorry to say a tradition that went away for a little while, but now it's back, and we're proud to say the flag is what it's all about. Well, back in the old days, and it was uh, Porter and I, we've been up and down the road a lot, raced together. We used to have this uh, real, this pretty silver, silky flag at TNT Motorsports on it. So somebody come up with the idea of having a championship flag instead of, uh, you know, giving us a trophy at the end of the night when we were going to race. And we were really proud to have it. It's kind of like the wrestlers getting the belt where we had the flag. You know, if another truck won that night, you know, that driver would run over, you know, and yank the flag off of that truck that had it from the fire race. Now, if you could support that flag several weekends in a row, you were a bad dude. It was hard to hang on to that flag. Well, I don't know. That's kind of new. You know, we heard something about that this weekend while we were sitting there working on this thing that, you know, we're starting to carry these flags around, you know? Yeah, we've been keeping the flag to ourselves. You know, we just sort of keeping it a secret, you know, because we knew if it ever got out and all these other drivers would want the flag. But you watch these guys, they'll freak out about this flag. They'll want to sport that flag, and this flag talk will go on for a long time now. Well, the secret's out now. We know it's there somewhere, and the key is going to be to find that flag and see who has it. Who are the favorites tonight? I think Gunslinger has to be one of them. You'll remember he won the last time out on Motor Madness. Let's talk to Scott about the set of these trucks for this course. Okay, a track like this, we're going to have to set the truck up really different. We're going to set it up tight in the front end because what we have, we're going to have to attack a straight line drag course with a couple obstacles in it to go into a real sharp corner. What you're going to have to look for is the way we get into that corner. And what I'm going to do is, like I say, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to go ahead and stab the brake just as hard as I can. That means climbing all over it. We're going to burp the throttle, which we've gone through that before, and the truck's actually going to want to slide into that corner. Now, it's hard to get a big truck like these to slide, especially on that tacky dirt in there. So what we're going to have to do is do our best to get the timing right to throw the rear steering, hit the brakes, get in that corner, and get out of it as fast as we can. Hard Sock's the hot hand, but we can't discuss favorites without mentioning the sports icon, Dennis Anderson, behind the wheel of the Grave Digger. He's ready. We can kind of gear it for the um, for the track. It'll be a, a long straightaway, but got to be kind of careful on the get off. Got a pretty steep hill. Then when you get in the turn, you got a really a sharp J turn that we have to go through. So. I think the track is tacky enough that the truck may hook up and may could flip over sideways. The first guy that can get in the throttle in the turn, coming out of the turn, more than likely is going to win the race. And let's keep our eye on the Monster Patrol. Paul Schaefer, who owns junkyards along with driving monster trucks, they call him the junkyard dog because of his tenacity and his cunning. He'll be tough. Well, what I have to do is uh, the old Rowley Rowley track that I used to run, I had to lower the air pressure on the right side if I can make the left-hand corner just a little bit faster than the other guy. You got Dennis Anderson out there and everybody else, it's tough. You gotta go out there and look to win, not to lose. Scott, I think all of these drivers here tonight are fired up, really want to win and not to lose. And in our first one, Nightmare 2, getting ready to go up against Gunslinger. We're gonna have a good battle here. Absolutely, and it's a great field tonight. Also wanna mention, we'll see her in a little bit. Pam Botters returns in the boogie van. Boy, it's great to see her back in action. But right now, Gary Bauer brings out a solid Ford, Nightmare 2, a 12-year veteran of the sport out of Vienna, Ohio, and he can run with the big boys. And that big boy, one of them is Scott Hartsuck. He has been so tough, as we said a moment ago. Won the last time out and has to be one of the favorites here. We heard how he talks about it. It is really a science to get around this course. Scott Hartsuck talked about it. has been in this sport for six years. In that 98 Ford, he's ready to go. Absolutely is fired up. You know, he's got a lot of momentum coming out of San Antonio, and he sees the cameras for TNN Motor Madness. I guarantee he wants another victory here in Indy. All right, let's hang on here as we get our first race underway. This is a race on this course. 
two monster trucks doing battle in this U-shaped course, which has some obstacles and also has a really tight turn. Let's watch it. Two Fords head to head to start us off. And uh, the turn again is going to be critical. Couldn't tell if anybody got an advantage through the turn. And boy, they came tight to the finish. They are neck and neck. And again, I think the key is getting on that throttle quick right after you make that turn. And here we watch Nightmare. A little bit of a surprise at how strong he is. Gary got through the turn beautifully, so he hung with hard socks the entire way. Here we get a look at Scott's turn, just like he wanted to. He throws that back in. He's in the rear steer right now. Then, as Dennis Anderson mentioned, he had to really hammer it. Let's go down and catch up with Steven Scott. Scott, we talked to you earlier about how this is a driver's racetrack. Tell us about your run. Well, exactly right. It was a driver's racetrack. You know, we had to come over the first couple obstacles, played it cool, drag race down to this corner, made a good even turn. The old Mega Power Ford made a good leap over the finish line. Here we are, one round down and three more to go. Scott, you guys are putting on an awesome show tonight. Why, thanks. You know, with the help of Mega Power like this, we come out here cocked, locked, and ready to rock. A lot of fans out here, too. Boy, you ain't kidding. This place is packed, and we're here to, I tell you, just put on a good show for everybody. Well, raise the roof for them. You got it, TNN Motorsports. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Scott. Boy, that was great. We'll have more round one action from Indy coming up on Monster Jam.